I'm gonna do something tonight that I've never done before. I'm gonna do a walk around and a quick review in the dark. Went by this building and I noticed these lights. It's almost like daylight here. So I figured I'd do a quick walk around so I don't lose the opportunity to show you another car review. <laughs> So necessity is the mother of invention. I'm using the lights on this building to show you the 2024 Nissan Pathfinder. It's a nice looking vehicle. Sort of looks like a bigger Rogue. Because I think the Rogue body style changed first. Now this is an SV trim, so I think it's a lower level trim. It's got cloth interior. First impressions is there's nothing fancy going on. In fact, I looked at the lift gate here and I thought, nope, you gotta do that yourself. But I don't know if you can see in here, lots of cubes. So there's a good amount of space back here and it has the third row. At some point tomorrow, I'll try to, during the daylight hours, I'll try to do this and show you the size of the third row. But let's just take a quick walk around. I think it's a, a nice looking Pathfinder. Let's see if you can see the back seat here. Cloth interior, but it has a nice little stitching detail there. And decent looking interior cabin. Again, you've got the third row. Looks like you can, yeah, you can push this back for a little bit of customized comfort. Let's take a look at the cockpit here. Again, I apologize for the lighting, but you gotta make with what you have at your disposal. So cloth seat, but very nice. Slim form factor, certainly not bad to look at. You've got a nice steering wheel here with the flat bottom. Although the steering wheel feels hard, not a lot of padding there, but it is sort of leather wrapped here or faux leather. Nicely appointed, workmanlike cabin. Nothing tremendously fancy but nothing awkward. I do like this shifter here. Very nice, kind of modern take on the shifter. And again, if you're gonna give me a spin shifter or this type of shifter, I will take that. I will take this any day. I like the fact that it has USB, the traditional USB, I think that's A, and the USB-C, so you have both options for your old and young riders alike. Very, very nice. Let's look at what's under the hood. I've never done a review at night. So this would be my first one. I don't know what the spec is on this. I'll have to do my research and I'll put up a graphic here with information on this engine. I like the fact that you can actually see the engine. There's no plastic cover in the way. Maybe they're going away from that. Usually you would see late lately vehicles a big pathfinder logo here there you go sounded like i just shot somebody <laughs> like the grill here i like the nissan logo it's nice and clean nice aluminum alloy wheels got a nice profile to it and it's a very you know i think it's a very sharp looking almost like ford explorer though sort of looks a little bit like a ford explorer in a way Lights are getting kind of funky in all these cars. Look at this. Nice roof rack here. Good for Christmas trees and, you know, hiking equipment, camping equipment rather, for tie downs. A little bit of a spoiler alert here, which is nice. 
All right. Well, I noticed that someone is looking at me and I'm not gonna get too close because it looks like he's guarding a nest. And any moment he'll probably think I'm getting too close and start the alarm. But it looks like this guy is diligently guarding a nest. I'm not gonna bother you, buddy. In fact, I'm gonna give you your space. All right, so inside the vehicle, I'll do a, a quick look at the interior from the first row. Got a nice infotainment center here, full color, easy to connect it to Apple CarPlay. Used it coming out of the airport and it was responsive. Took no time at all to connect to Apple CarPlay. Again, I'm, I'm getting some light from that building over there. I should get a shot of that building. Sitting in the cockpit, pretty decent adjustability on the seat. It's comfortable. There seems to be a decent amount of padding. Although I can't get the seat up as high as I would like it to be. So I, I would assume that in higher trims, you'd get a little bit more flexibility. So I'm a slightly low. I like to be a little bit higher, but you know what? You see the hood, which is always nice. It gives you that nice feel like truck feel. Let's climb back into the back and see what the back seat offers in terms of comfort. All right, so I'm gonna jump into the back seat here. You've got flexibility to move forward and back. So you can give the clowns in the third row more space that they might need. And I'll jump in the back in a second and show you that. Lots of leg room, lots of head room and shoulder room, and also the ability to uh, lean back, do the gangster lean for a uh, welcome siesta, especially on a long road trip. So very, very nice. You also have a cup holder here and an armrest, uh, which is really cool. Give you a view from the back seat. You know, it's a smart, kind of nondescript interior. Nothing too fancy, but certainly clean and contemporary looking. Sort of how they do it today, black on black on black. But there are some nice features. Again, this is a lower trim level. So sort of a basic, the SV trim, but gets the job done. You know, you have a couple of kids, you wanna shuttle them around for soccer or basketball or hockey, lacrosse, what have you, and you just don't like a minivan, but you want something, you know, that you don't, you know, you don't care if it gets banged up. Lower trim model is probably the prudent choice. Cup holders back here, two on either side, which is nice. Again, you've got cup holders back here, two. So you can stay well hydrated in the Pathfinder. Let's take a look in the third row and see just how comfortable or uncomfortable that is. Also back here, you have the USB ports and control of your HVAC, which is always nice to have when you're sitting in the second row. All right, here's a nice feature I just figured out about the third row. There's a button back here. When you press it, that seat just pops out of the way and allows easy access to the third row. So if the guy up front gives you a little room, you've got some leg room. Now the floor is pretty shallow, so your knees are up. So there is flexibility in the third row. So the third row is siesta worthy, guys. Not bad, not bad at all. With the ability to touch that button there and have that seat just pop up. And you've got the handle here to get you out in relative comfort. It's not the greatest fit, but not terrible. Now with all the lights on, let's see if I can show you 
all the storage capacity of this vehicle. So that all folds flat for mega storage, guys. I could put a ton of gear, a whole apartment could go in this vehicle. Very, very nice. I hope this is not the, the fuzz. Very nice. All right. And just as easily uh, as they were stowed, you can have this back and you'd have a pretty decent size space here in the back for packages. You've got this, you can't see it, but there's this deep little cubby here to keep things out of sight and out of mind. Very, very nice. All right, so driving dynamics right off the tip, I can tell that this is a really responsive, really easy vehicle to get around in. It drives smaller than it is. As you can see, you've got the nice extended hood. So you feel like you're in a truck, but it certainly doesn't drive like you're in this big lumbering truck. It's got tight steering or tight enough for an SUV. Easy to get in and out of parking spaces, get in and out of uh, parking lots, maneuver. And it has decent, it has decent pickup good power to it and again I'll flash up the the stats a very very nice it's got some get up and go and it handles road imperfections pretty well relatively quiet tire and wind noise aren't significant the vehicle has 3630 miles it's a rental i'm sure it's been jostled a bit and i don't hear anything rattling or moving around so overall first blush nice vehicle to drive pretty compliant pretty secure feeling no complaints all right so i'm parked in front of a chase bank stealing their light no tripod, no suction cup, impromptu review. And I've enjoyed my first hour or two in this vehicle. And again, it is an entry level Pathfinder mid to full size SUV with some interesting seating. I like the fact that you can press one button and jump into the back. The third row is adequate for an average size person. So you could have a siesta in the back. So really practically six, seven passengers comfortably in this vehicle for a moderate ride. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this night review as much as I've enjoyed it. And again, I've only got this vehicle for 24 hours and I just needed to get the review done. So if you like this video, leave a comment, let me know you do. If you don't, leave a comment, let me know you don't. And if you're new to the channel, I do mostly reviews men's grooming and shaving products, cars, food, travel, and other silliness. We are Riviera! So why don't you come back, stick around, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But in the meantime, keep pushing, play. Now Haley, roll the music.